Uh, let's talk about this week because you kicked off this week attending an event for the Community Sport for All initiative. You know, it had to be great seeing every Halton MP was able to attend and endorse kids sport. It was really fantastic. And you know, it's something that my colleague Adam Vancouver has really pushed for since he got elected. And so it was nice to, um, it was exciting actually, it was more than nice. It was exciting to to be in Halton, to all be together and to uh, support kids getting involved in sport. And these are kids, we're not talking about elite athletes. Here. We're talking about kids who want to get involved in a sport and. And, you know, it can be cost be prohibitive. So we know that being involved in sport is not just good for uh, kids' physical health, but also their mental health. So this, this is the first time we're going to have a whole chapter of kids' sport and uh, grants will be available for kids to participate in local sporting organizations. Now, you mentioned at the press conference that this was definitely a passion of Adam Vancouverton's. And this is the first time that you and I have chatted in this year, in 2023. So I'm curious, you know, what are your passions for the upcoming year as far as your responsibilities go? Well, I mean, I've got responsibilities as the parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. So that will, that certainly keeps me busy. We have uh, firearms legislation come at committee now. We have uh, a bill dealing with oversight for the RCMP and the Canadian Border Services, which is waiting for the committee to get studying it. And um, I've always been um, an advocate to uh, ensure that our correction system is, is doing the rehabilitative work that it needs to do. And then on a local level, I, I hear a lot from our constituents about uh, the environment and climate change is, is one of the top priorities that uh, that I hear about, as well as healthcare. Um, a lot of that is provincial, but we know from the news that um, there's there's a, a crisis when it comes to healthcare, and how can we, as as the federal government, help with that? So um, that's certainly things that that I hear about as as the um, as a local MP. Um, and the other one I hear a lot about is animal rights. And I am a member of the Animal Welfare Caucus, but people are always very passionate in our riding when it comes to things like the Jane Goodale Act and others. So those are those are things I hear a lot about from, from people in Oakville, North Burlington. For sure. And one of the other things that I think is present everywhere in Halton Region, if not the province and the country, is the housing crisis. Now, it pretty much comes up in every conversation I have with any politician, but in your latest newsletter, you mentioned the multi-generational home renovation tax mm -hmm. credit. I didn't even know this was a thing, and I was wondering if you could tell our viewers a little bit more about it. Sure. Now, this is new as of, as of January 1st, and it's a tax credit. And it's, it allows people, obviously they have to comply with municipal zoning. Um, so that would be the first step, right? But if you wanna build a secondary suite in your home for a family member who is either a senior or an adult living with a disability, the tax credit will provide 15% tax refund on expenses up to $50,000 to a maximum of $7,500. And so, you know, I hear from people where they want to keep a loved one close by, but give them that independence. Um, and this, this provides the tax credit to allow them to do the renovations to their home to, and then, but as I said, municipal bylaws have to be uh, adhered to, but we will provide funding for folks if they want to pursue that path. And I, you know, it is, it is something I hear a lot about for, for, you know, not only seniors, but adults living with a disability where, you know, the family wants to allow them to have a little bit of more independence, but still be close by to, to provide care and, and that's needed for them. So it is, it is a, it, it, it is a really, um, uh, innovative way to provide to help it's not paying for all of it but it will help in people making that transition in their home yeah it's very helpful to have family close by especially for all the doctor's appointments that do come uh as we get a little bit older and yeah. our parents and such i've yeah. had first-hand experience there for sure all right, well, let's end on something that is pretty fun and it is coming up next month. You'll be returning to the 16 Mile Sports Complex on Family Day for the Pam DeMoff Family Skate. 
Will you be getting out there on the ice yourself? I will for sure. Mm -hmm. I will for sure. And I'm really excited about it. 16 Mile is a pretty incredible uh, venue. Uh, we're going to have a rink to ourselves. And I just found out today, so your viewers will be the first to know, that Tyler McGregor, the captain of the Team, uh, team Canada Sledge Hockey Team, Olympic uh, medalist, will be joining us. Uh, Trevor or Tyler is is raising money in the sledge hockey for hope for Taylor, Terry Fox Foundation, and I reached out to see if he wanted to join us. So he's going to come and join us with his um, show us how how he he skates. It's really exciting. So it'll be three fifteen. The dressing rooms open three forty five. We have access to the ice to five fifteen. So we're hoping that um, families need to pre register uh, so that we know what the numbers are, but you can pre-register this link on my website. And uh, we'd love to get uh, get people out with their with their families, um, whether that's young or older, uh, but to come out with their families and join us for, uh, for a free skate. There's no charge to, uh, to join us. Big question to end it though. Will you be sporting figure skates or hockey skates? Hockey skates. Hockey skates. There you go. All yeah. right. I never yeah. could figure out how to skate with the picks on the front. I, I well, wear the hockey skates too. I need the support for my ankles. I'm not going to pretend that I'm a good skater, but I, I do enjoy it. So.